I did it. I canceled my gym membership. I feel sad in a way because I did like coming here, but... Hello world! So I woke up around 8.30 this morning. So that's about like six and a half hours. And I laid in bed for like an hour. <laughs> my mom called me like, you're coming? Because uh, Weight Watchers meeting is at 10. So I'm on my way. I am less on my scale, so I better be less over there. I don't want to be gained twice in a row. That's just horrible. That just makes you want to give up. And obviously, this sh there should be nothing in life that you want and that motivates you that you should give up on. Most of the time it's something that we want to accomplish in life that makes us happy, that makes us successful, that makes us just be able to overcome something that is hard in our lives. So right now, losing weight has been my battle for many years. I've lost weight, I've gained weight, and so on and so forth, lost weight gain. It's like it's been a roller coaster. And for many of you that have been on a uh, weight loss adventure, has struggled with your weight all your life, you know what I mean with that. And I've had moments in my life that I've been super successful in losing weight. And then there's moments that you just can't win. <laughs> you can't win at all, it sucks. So right now, even though the weight loss has been very slow, at least it's been more than anything I've done last year. Last year I became vegan, and don't get me wrong, eating vegan is really the way to go, but you have to eat all raw, and it's really hard, especially going out to eat. It definitely put things into perspective for us as far as eating more vegetables and eating less processed foods, fried foods, uh, greasy foods, cooking with oil, butter, uh, having too much dairy or animal byproducts. Like, it really has put that into perspective for us. But I wasn't losing weight because I was eating so much carbs and processed food. And if you're going to eat vegan, you can't do that. So here I am. I'm no longer a vegan, but I'm keeping things to a minimum. And I'm not eating as much carbohydrates, which has made a huge difference in my uh, weight loss. So I'm almost there. I'll let you know the good news when I'm out. Alright, I left Weight Watchers and I'm back with good news. I lost 2.6 pounds, which I was hoping to have lost a little more, but hey, 2.6 pounds is a lot. And um, I'm down almost 10 pounds. 9.8 is the total pounds I've lost so far. And I was a little discouraged. I spoke with the teacher, counselor, whatever of Weight Watchers. And I was telling her that I'm like so ready to get pregnant now, but I'm not so ready to have this extra weight on me during the pregnancy. So I was wondering what should I do? Should I stop Weight Watchers and just get pregnant or should I just continue? She said once I do get pregnant, I can't really be on Weight Watchers because I need to eat enough for baby, which I get that, but I wanted to reach goal so that I'm at lifetime. She just said, you know, live your life, but that I'm on the right track and I'm doing well. So, with that being said, I'm gonna give myself till June. I know I had said March before, but now that I'm on the right track, June it is, and no more playing around. I have 12 weeks to get rid of this weight, and I have 24 pounds left to lose. I am now headed to the gym not to work out. I need to cancel my gym membership because out of the year that I've had this membership, I have not gone, I don't even think, half a year. My plan now is to just choose a workout program and do it at home. Problem is commitment. So I'm gonna make a commitment to a workout program. So once I go to the gym and cancel it, which I hope I can today, I'm gonna go home and pick out my workout program that I'm going to commit to for the next 12 weeks. I need to lose this weight and get pregnant because honey don't play and I'm not gonna play anymore. I want this. I did it, I canceled my gym membership. I feel sad in a way because I did like coming here, but $20 adds up. In over a year, that's, let's see if my math is good, to $240. 
that could go to something else. I just need to commit to working out. And it doesn't have to be at a gym. You can work out anywhere at home with exercise videos or running outside and with this perfect weather I think I need to start running because running is really good for you and he told me that I have 16 days left like after canceling I have still 16 days to still use the gym so I should utilize that although today I can't do it because I didn't bring any like sneakers to run in change of clothes nothing so uh, maybe tomorrow I can try to go and use the gym because I have 16 days I might as well use it up I have some sad news to tell Tabby if you ready I can't be on the worship team what <laughs> she keeps guessing the wrong you're thing you're going through your menstrual cycle first she said about taxes then she said about worship leaders and now she's saying about I don't know anyways ready Tabby's dead. I just oh. I just canceled my gym membership look at her face Because, April Fool's. oh yeah, it's April Fool's Day. Oh. April Fool's. No, just kidding. I really did. <laughs> oh, she's sad because she's been asking me, oh, you're gonna go to the gym? Are you gonna go to the gym? She wants to go to the gym with me. Stop. I cancel it because I haven't been going faithfully. So why pay twenty dollars a month I know, that's when I'm not going? So I'm gonna do a, a, a workout program. What is wrong with you? Why you don't like the camera? That's annoying. The camera loves you. Everybody loves you. Turn it off. Tell everybody. Tell him that you love him. Turn it off. Camera. Benji likes the camera on me. What is, look at this kid, what he's doing to me. He's beating me up. So I started cooking dinner for my hubby and me because I gotta leave at two for work and I get out at six and to come home and cook will take long. We'll be starving, so I'm gonna have food already. We'll just heat it up. Right here we got pollo guisado. I haven't made this in a while um, because, you know, eating vegan and all, we haven't had chicken, so I haven't had made the pollo guisado in a while. So the only thing that um, I have missing in today's Spanish food is recaito. We always make that um, with it because it adds a lot of flavor to the rice and chicken. But I'm out and I didn't have time to go out and buy it and come back and cook. So I just started cooking without it. Um, the rice might taste a little different, but I think the chicken will be fine. Um, here's the sweet plantains. And then I have some baked beans mixed in uh, with gandules. And I made a little medley there. And over here, which it's not done, is our Spanish rice. Usually I make that in the caldero, which is a cast iron pot. It cooks it very nice. And, but because I didn't have the recaito, and I didn't know if it was going to taste good, I was just like, I'm going to put it in the rice cooker, throw in a little bit of the sazon and adobo, and I'm saying all these words. I don't know if you understand them, but they're all different Spanish seasonings. And hopefully that'll taste good. I need to pick my workout program. I'll put all my exercise programs on my kitchen table because it's dark in the living room. We have one, Jillian Michaels, Body Revolution. Number two is Supreme 90 Day. Three is Turbo Fire. Four is Ruthless. Five is 21 Day Fix. And then I found We Fit, which is not intense workout, but it's a little exercise and yoga and stuff. For me, I think I can narrow it down pretty easy. Turbo fire is a lot of jumping. I don't think I want to do that. At least not right now until I get better. We fit is not enough exercise for me. So that's going there. Ruthless is kind of like insanity and P90X a little bit. So I don't think I'm ready for that either. And then 21 day fix. Tight. So it's narrowed down now to these two. They're both 90 day, but I'm gonna go with this because it's 30 minutes a day. I think these might be a little more. 30 minutes a day is manageable. And I did like Jillian Michaels when I was on it, but I'm gonna do Jillian Michaels for the next 90 days. Committing to 90 days, get my weight down, get pregnant. It's a lot when you think of all of it at once and you're like, can't see myself there but you gotta you gotta start picturing yourself there you gotta say yes that's where I'm gonna be because 
<laughs> negativity and doubt's not going to get you anywhere. But envisioning the future and seeing yourself there and pushing through and taking baby steps, that's how you're going to get somewhere. I'm just getting home from work. Went by semi quick, but I'm starving and I'm so excited that I don't have to cook. I could just come home and eat because dinner's already done. I'm here and John's already here, so I'm thinking he's already heating up the food or maybe he's changing. I don't know. We shall soon find out. And he got daddy's home from Redbox, so super excited about that. I'm like falling. Here's my plate. It looks so yummy and it smells so good. And I get all that for all the points I have left. And we just started Daddy's so home. Johnny's eating. We're gonna have gonna some quality okay, time it. together yeah, okay. with good. Hannah. Hey guys, this is a quick end to the vlog. John's already asleep. I already started falling asleep and realized I didn't close out the vlog. So I wanted to say a quick goodbye. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please do give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if this is your first time and you enjoy our vlogs. So we'll see you tomorrow. Remember to love your life. Bye. There it is, all done. It's yummy. There's an extra one over here.